Okay, for the next part of your sub of your topic in chapter two is the structure of animal cells and plant cells. So, you must know how the structure of animal cells and plant cells look like. So first, uh, we need to prepare a slide. Eh? Kita panggil prepare a slide to uh, so that you can watch a uh, view under a microscope. So these are the activities. Selalu kalau kat sekolah kita akan buat eksperimen sikit lah. Eh? <coughs> so there are two uh, experiment here. One is to investigate animal cells using your chick cell. Okay. So these are the procedure. Okay. Okay, uh, before we go into the procedure, so these are what you can see under a microscope for your cheek cell. Nampak tak tu? Cheek cell dia. Okay, apa bentuk dia? So, you nampak it is uh, irregular in shape. Uh, not a fixed shape eh. Right? Okay, this one. Uh, and then you nak tengok structure of plant cell. So, we going to use onion eh. Uh, onion cell so that you can use, uh, you can view under a microscope. So, beza tak um, uh, chick cell tadi dengan onion cell yang sekarang ni? So, you nampak eh, uh, onion cell ni dia punya ni, dia punya shape lebih fix, eh? fix shape. Okay, so these are the differences between animal cells and plant cell. Eh? On your left side is the animal cell and on the right side is the plant cell. Very much uh, different in the shape, in shape. Okay, now we are going to look into uh, more specific lah. Okay, how? Okay, this one yang lebih complicated lah. Saya tak prefer yang ni. Okay, so this are, this is how you draw cell. Uh, tak nak susah-susah, you buat yang senang-senang je. Okay. So, in animal cell, you have nucleus Uh, also ada cytoplasm and cell membrane Yang tu je yang ada dekat dalam animal cell But in plant cell You have nucleus, you have cytoplasm You have cell membrane Okay, you ada chloroplast yeah? Chloroplast, vacuole and also cell wall So every structure here Have its own function Okay, before that Kita pergi dulu uh, Yeah Um Animal and plant slide preparation. Okay. <clears throat> so, you want to prepare a slide of human chick cell for animal cell. And um, epithelial cells of onion. Uh, epithelial here means skin. Eh? You want to uh, look for the plant cell. So, how you should do it? Okay, for human chick cell, you must scrape. Ha, scrape ni macam kikis. Eh? A few cell, you tak uh, ambil guna toothpick. From your inner cheek uh, with a clean toothpick or cotton bud. Uh, selalu kita pakai toothpick lah. And for the onion cell, you pakai uh, epidermal cell dia. Okay, peel a thin layer of epidermis from, from an onion bulb. Kita guna onion. Okay, and then what should you do? You transfer the cell onto a slide. So, this one is a glass slide. <coughs> okay, a glass slide. And then you put a methylene blue for the cheek cell. Methylene blue to give color. Because your cell has no color. And also for the, on your right side here. Put iodine. Eh? Iodine solution, iodine warna kuning. Eh? Yellow in color. To color your uh, onion cell. And then carefully cover the specimen with the cover slip. Ha, with the help of a needle so that no bubble will get trapped. So, kalau ada bubble, you susah nak tengok bawah microscope. And then, soak up using filter paper, excess fluid yang sebab you kena letak uh, distilled water sepatutnya eh, tadi. Uh, so, ada air yang lebih-lebih tu, okay, you filter, you soak up using filter paper, right? So, this is what you should see under a microscope. Okay, you see that? Uh, dia tak berapa visible tapi uh, with the help of methylene blue and iodine, you can see it clearer. Right. Okay, quiz nanti jap. 
right so in the textbook also have a how to uh, the procedure eh, to do your experiment so merge okay right so this is the onion epidermis okay the needle name mounting needle okay kita ada slide also glass and then kita ada cover glass kena buat experiment lah <coughs> baru you boleh tahu kan kalau tengok dalam buku je mungkin tak berapa clear so this is what you can see under a microscope Right, so now we want to go at the, uh, we want to look into the function eh, of the structure of animal cells and plant cell. So first we look at the plant cell first. Okay, first we look here, nucleus. <coughs> nucleus is very important structure in the cell because nucleus controls all activity in the cell. Kalau tak ada nucleus, Uh, cell cannot do any activity Okay, apa function cell? Cell function dia untuk uh, Your life processes lah uh, Okay, you nak respiration pun uh, Inside the uh, cell yang akan bantu you uh, Semualah Okay, for your growth Okay, to secrete mucus Right, so nucleus to control all cell activity Con Okay, okay, ni yang paling penting Contain chromosome So inside nucleus, there is chromosome Where your DNA is in there. DNA ni is your genetic material. Right? And then up here we have chloroplast. Uh, chloroplast is green in color usually. Okay, the function is to absorb light energy for the process of photosynthesis. Process of photosynthesis. And then you have cell membrane. So membrane will act as a door that control the flows of material in and out of the cell mitochondria to produce energy for reaction so anything reaction that happens in the cell needs micro mitochondria and then we have vacuole so vacuole here to support the cells when filled with cell sap so anything that the cell produce in the plant cell will be stored in the vacuole So when the vacuole is full, the cell is uh, will be will become turgid. T u r g i d. Turgid here means segah. Okay, dia akan nampak uh, macam sawi kalau awak biar lama kat luar dia lembik kan? Ah, uh, because the cell sap is empty. So kalau you nampak you siram air nampak sawi itu segah because the vacuole is full, is filled. <coughs> And now we have cytoplasm which acts as a medium where the chemical reaction occur. Last one. This is the important uh, features in the plant cell. So plant cells have cell wall to provide support and also give a fixed shape to the cell. Kenapa cell, plant cell ada shape? Because they have cell wall. Kenapa animal cells have no fixed shape? Because there is no cell wall. No cell wall in the plant. Animal cell. Okay, can we look at the animal cell? Alright, so this is the animal cell. Okay. Okay, not in fixed shape lah sebenarnya. Tak semestinya bulat macam ni. Tapi kalau you nak lukis bulat. Tak payah perfect. Uh, not a perfect circle. Huh? Okay, first. The first structure is nucleus. Also the same. Control cell activity. Contain chromosome consists of DNA. Ha, tu nucleus. Tak ada nucleus tak boleh jalan sel tersebut. Except for. Ha, except for apa? Nanti kita tengok. Except for red blood cell. Okay, and then we have the mitochondria. Also to produce energy for reaction. And then ada kat luar sekali. We have the cell membrane which control the flows of material in and out of the cell. And last one we have cyto. Plasm. So there is a little structure in animal cell uh, compared to in the plant cell. Okay, ni dia boleh ni terbalik kan? So kita pergi tengok dekat slide kita lah. Ada tak? Ni, ni ah ya yeah, here. Okay, so this are the comparison animal cell and plant cell. Similarity. Both have, both animal and plant cell have nucleus, cytoplasm and cell membrane. 
But the differences is the first one, the shape. Can animal cell is irregular in shape. Plant cell is regular shape and rigid. Vacuole. Animal cell has no vacuole. Uh, no chloroplast. No cell wall. Okay. Tapi plant cell ada large vacuole. Large chloroplast and large uh, have cell wall. Tak adalah large chloroplast. Sorry. Ada chloroplast. Present lah. Okay, so you must remember the difference. Ha, ni soalan ni selalu keluar exam, ya. Yeah? Selalu keluar. Sangat selalu keluar. So, remember. Please remember.